Global Campuses Foundation Mindfulness and Connections Distant Learning Week 5. What is mindfulness? The quality or state of being conscious or aware of something. A mental state achieved by focusing one's awareness on the present moment while calmly acknowledging and accepting one's feelings, thoughts, and bodily sensations used as a therapeutic technique. Discussion. What does it mean to be aware? What do we need to be aware of? Feelings. Thoughts. Bodily sensations. What are some feelings? Joy. Disgust, sadness, content, fear, anger. Why is it important to be aware of your feelings? Your feelings can influence your behavior both positively and negatively. If you are aware of your feelings, you can prevent resulting negative behaviors. Reflection. What is one positive thought you have had today? How did that thought make you feel? Can you carry that feeling and thought throughout the day? What is one negative thought you have had today? How did that thought make you feel? Can you let that thought and feeling pass? If not, what can you do to cope with this thought? Behavior influenced by emotions. Overreacting when sad. Healthy coping skills, allowing yourself to cry. Becoming aggressive when angry. Venting to a trusted person. Shutting down when overwhelmed. Chunking large tasks into smaller, more manageable tasks. Hyperactivity when excited. Expressing excitement to a friend. Reactive when scared. Express fear to a trusted friend to make the situation safe. How to become a more mindful person. Utilize the ideas below to become a more mindful person and your body and mind will thank you. Take a walk outside. Create something, anything. Breathe deeply. Disconnect from your phone. Do not multitask. Learn to appreciate the small stuff and don't take things for granted. Meditation. Down here, part one and part two are guided beginners meditation videos. Mindfulness scavenger hunt. Here are activities to help you focus in the moment and be more mindful of the things around you. These are also attached as printables and included in the presentation to enjoy. Make your own scavenger hunt. Make your own scavenger hunt and post it on the Global Campus's Facebook learning group or share it with your AC to pass out. Another way to practice mindfulness is to identify your unique gifts. Whether it's through writing, communicating, painting, playing music, dancing, or experiencing life, your uniqueness is what adds color, texture, flavor, and emotion to the lives of everyone around you. Every single one of us carries within us certain qualities and attributes that contribute to society. Here are ways 
you can identify your special gifts and build them into your life. Discovering your unique gifts. To discover your unique talents and special gifts, consider the following. How did you love to spend your time as a child? What did you enjoy doing the most? How would you pass the days and what types of activities were you were exciting to you? What are you passionate about as an adult? What lights you up and gets you totally motivated? What kinds of things do you enjoy geeking out on? When you lose track of time, what are you doing? What is important to you about life? When you think about the different areas of life, make a list of all the things that are important to you in each of these categories. Knowing your value helps direct you towards things that are important to you at the unconscious level and can lead you to finding your passion and purpose. How to apply your special gifts. It's simple, share your passions and interests with others. At the end of the day, who you are, what you do, and how you show up in the world is special and unique. Everything you share, whether it's your bright smile, your compassionate heart, your sharp intellect, or your quality of presence has a ripple effect on everyone around you and beyond. It's up to you to be mindful of it. Global Campuses has many talented participants. We wanna celebrate those talents with you. Here's how. Use a device to take a video or picture of your talent, then post it to your GC Facebook group. Or you can also send a picture or video to your AC to share. Earth Day 2020 will be celebrated on Wednesday, April 22nd. This year, we celebrate the 50th anniversary of this day. This year, we won't be able to gather in groups to celebrate this day. However, there are ways for all of us to honor the earth on our own. It only takes a few small changes to make a big difference. Useful changes that have a big impact. Turn the faucet off. Did you know you can save up to eight gallons of water a day just by shutting off the faucet when brushing your teeth? Unplug appliances when not in use. Yes, your household appliances are wasting energy even when they're not turned on. Washing laundry in cold water. About 90% of the energy your washing machine uses goes towards heating the water. Stop drinking out of plastic water bottles. This one's a simple fix. Replace your regular single-use plastic bottle with something of plastic, glass, and or stainless steel, a reusable water bottle. Turn off your lights when you leave the room. Turning off your lights when you're not at home or even not in that room can significantly cut down on how much energy you're using. Bring a reusable cup to your coffee shop. You can still fulfill your caramel frappuccino craving every once in a while without throwing away a plastic cup afterwards. Take the stairs instead of the elevator. Taking the stairs cuts down on the energy use required to power the elevator. Plus, it's a great workout. Go paperless. Everything is online these days. Think about how much paper you can save just by getting bank statements and bills sent electronically and paid the same way. Make your yard creature friendly. Want to feel like a Disney princess by waking up to the sound of birds chirping outside your window? Make your yard a welcoming place for local wildlife by installing bird feeders. Stay connected. If you try a high impact Earth Day change, tell us about it. If you wanna share a new or previous talent or passion, tell us about it. We learn together and support each other in person and distantly. Here's how. Use a device to take a video or picture of your talent or an Earth Day change and post it to our Facebook group. 
or you can send that picture to your AC to share. Thank you for joining us today.